Santa Barbara Baker here showing you how to top and bake a three cheese thin and crispy bar pie pizza. I have my baking steel preheating in the oven on full blast. That's 500 degrees on my oven for 60 minutes, making sure that steel is nice and hot. The baking steel is a great choice for baking bar pies. I think it is definitely better than outside of the uni. Sure, you can do it in the uni, but you want to use the right tool for the job. And in that case, for a bar pie, indoors on the steel is definitely a good call. I have my bar pie all stretched and prepped into my prepared pan. Check out my video for the full details on that. Before I start topping though, I like to, for a bar pie, dock the dough. And that just means going in and hitting it with some small holes here, making sure it doesn't fully pop up when we're baking it. You can use a dough docker here. That's even faster if you have one, but you know, most people probably don't. And you're just making a few pies at home. A fork will do. This is looking pretty good to me. On to our sauce. Today we're using my world's best tomato sauce. The recipe's up on the blog at SantaBarbaraBaker.com. It just is the best tomatoes rolled up with some salt. Going to do a nice ladle full here into the center of the pie. And I'm going to spin this out to about within a half inch of the crust or what little kind of edge we have going on here. It's looking really good to me. Up next, we're gonna hit it for, I feel like with a bar pie, you really want those classic kind of pizzeria flavors. And for me, that is definitely some dried oregano up in the mix. And I'm just gonna season it directly here on the pie with the dried oregano, but you can also mix it up in your sauce if you're making a big batch. Looking nice to me. All right, on to the cheese, the three cheese blend today. Classic aged mozzarella, always a solid choice, melts really well, that classic pizza flavor. Along with that, another classic pizza cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, the Hedy's, the Super Dink. Mix it, that's nice too, because it keeps the cheese from sticking. You start shaking from that swag bag of pre-shred that got some little coating stuff on it, prevent it from sticking. Even better, use some Parm, because that's dank. Also in here, have some Havarti, not a classic pizza cheese, but I love using it on pizza. It melts really well, has a nice little bit of a funk flavor, not too strong, but a little bit of something interesting and it melts great on a pizza. I'm gonna start by topping this pizza all the way up to the edge. You wanna go in here and make sure you hit it all the way up onto the crust of the pizza, the little rim in there. We want it to kind of fry, bake into the edge of the crust of the pizza. And for a pizza like this, bar pie typically, you hit it pretty generous with the cheese. We're gonna give it a nice covering here. And a nice few handfuls, not trooping too much of where it lands because it's all gonna bake up really nice in the pan. I'm gonna get the rest of the cheese all loaded up on here. We'll take it for a bake on the baking steel. It's bar pie, it's pizza time. I have my three cheese bar pie pizza ready to fire. I'm gonna put it directly onto the baking steel. It's all preheated, middle rack of the oven, full blast for an hour. Going right there into the center of the baking steel with the pan directly on the steel. That'll give it a nice crisp bottom. I'm gonna let it bake for about nine minutes, keeping an eye on it, looking for a nice bubbly cheese and that crust starting to pull away from the edge. All good signs. It's been nine minutes and it smells insanely delicious in here. I just took a little peek in there and this bar pie is looking about done. I'm gonna pull it out now, put it in the pan just directly onto a little wire rack I have here. Not really letting it cool for too long. What I'm gonna do is what I like is getting that little extra crispness onto the bottom of the pizza. And how you do that is removing the pizza from the pan you baked it in and then sliding it right directly onto the baking steel. How do you do that? Well, what I do is you can either use a fish spatula or an offset spatula, I really like to, or a combination of the both. Being careful not to burn yourself as you go here. I just go in and extract going around the edge here, freeing up the pizza. Wow, this is looking really nice. Nice little crispy edges of cheese on there. And then just pull it right out directly onto the cooling rack there we made it always feels a little sketchy getting it out of my baking still still cranked in the oven and i'm just gonna load it up with my little trusty pizza peel here right off the rack into the oven and for this final crisp we'll go about two minutes till it's looking nicely brown 
It's been two minutes and I can hear the bar pie sizzling up in there. It all sounds and looks but super dank. Now pull it out. Oh wow, look at this thing. The thin and crispy bar pie pizza. Listen to it sizzle. Absolutely insanely delicious. I got the vibe on this one. I'm gonna put it onto my little wire rack here, let it cool. The rack keeps it from, you know, you don't want it to steam on a pan, on a, you know, put it on a plate or something, it'll steam. Let it hang out on a rack 20 seconds to a minute and get this thing sliced up. We'll take it for a taste in the booth. It's pizza time. This thin and crispy three cheese pizza it smells just amazing. It smells so good. It baked up really nice on the baking steel. Nine minute bake, pull it out of your pan right directly onto the baking steel for that last crisp. Looks really nice. Got that classic bar pie pizza vibes going here. The super thin and crispy. Look at the pickup on there. The bottom looks nice, maybe a little bit dark in some spots, but it's nice and crispy. Just really like it. Better a little bit on the crispy side on these pizzas than underdone. The cheese melted all nicely. I like this little speckled look. Everything is looking for a delicious thin and crispy bar pie pizza. Let's get in this thing. Give it a taste. A little bit of crunch biting into it. The rush of the tomato sauce. The molten cheese. The essence of the dried oregano. Make for just a ridiculously delicious thin and crispy bar pie pizza. This pizza tastes amazing. I would recommend if you're baking these up, bake a few because this looks like a snack to me. I'm gonna crush this one to the dome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the bar pie pizza dough video to get you started on mixing your dough, my stretching and prepping your pan to get you all ready to bake. Send you on your way to your bar pie pizza dreams. I can't wait to get into the rest of this thing. It's thin and crispy bar pie. Check me out on Instagram. I'm Santa Barbara Baker. Recipes on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. I love you all. Keep dreaming about pizza, making pizza, living your pizza dreams. One love.